all right guys so in this video i want to show you guys how you can use CapCut for photo editing i know that sounds funny but yeah you can actually do some photo editing with CapCut. so i don't have no proper intro for this video so let's just get right into it yeah so when you open your CapCut, there are some tools up here i did a video on how to use CapCut for video editing so if you do that if you want to check it out you should see how all these other buttons what they mean you can check out that video i'll leave it in the description but today we're looking at how to use CapCut for photo editing because CapCut can do some photo editing tricks so when you open your CapCut, you're going to be see you see these buttons up here and when you click to on expand expand is right here you're going to see more options so these are things that you can use for photo editing so i want us to just go through them uh, one after the other so the first one here which says photo editor so CapCut has its own photo editor so when you click on that one you can select a photo any photo of your choice click on add and it will take you to the little photo uh, CapCut has a photo editing interface this is it right here where you can do some little photo editing tricks like you can resize the photo different sizes you can resize it all right and then you can add text add shapes add stickers add another photo adjust the color so it's basically so just some little tricks so this is text you can add text choose the style choose the font choose the alignment that you want the letter spacing is also down here the size letter size font size letter spacing and line spacing so we can actually do that that's that's pretty cool we're going to delete that you can add shapes and styles as well so you can add uh, change the shape color let's say we're going to add shape i haven't been using this so that's why you see these little arrows down here on each of the shapes so you can click on to download them you can have one like that then you could go to there are so many shapes line heart shapes line so you can go to style and you can change the color of the shape of course to whatever you like change the color of the shape let me say red And then you can you know work on the opacity as well it's all up to you so i'm just going to delete that all right so we also have stickers down here you can add stickers on your image choose from here there are different categories of stickers that you can choose from and then you can add an extra photo basically like a, it's working like a photo editor and this is this is not bad at all honestly can add in an extra photo and do some work crop cut out replace you know you can do other opacity you can do some tricks with the new photo that you added as well all right so you can also control like adjust you can also do adjustment on your current picture your main picture when you click here you have brightness you can work on it contrast you can work on it so I don't think it's that bad for a photo editor. It doesn't have advanced tools, but it's it's not like like that bad. It's not that bad. So you can add filters. You can add filters to your photos as well. Any filter you like, you just go through and select this black and white mode here. There are different modes that you can choose movie, black and white. Click on OK. You have your black and white right there. And then the last thing is the background where you can choose your background color okay so i'm just gonna go that's it for the little photo editor so we looked at that and when you're done editing you just click on export and you have that yeah. in your so the next thing that i've seen here is a text to image feature but it doesn't work so it's supposed to be an image generator anytime i click on it it tells me bullshit it just doesn't open so well that's that for text editor now the next one i want us to look at is autocut right here when you open autocut what happens so i'm going to select a photo i'm going to photo i'm not going to go video. you can do you can use videos for autocut as well but you can, i'm just going to go to photo i'm going to select so you can select two you can select more than one actually and select two or three so you can when you do that this is what's going to happen it's going to create a video for you 
with a little animation so let me play so you guys can get it yeah so there are different animations down here that you can select from on your video there are different animations down here so you just click on any one is going to load up and if you like it you agree with it you just click on export and you put it in your phone okay so i'm going to go out of this oh i forgot you can also replace the music down here click on replace and you can use audios from CapCut or you take add sound to use your own audio from your device okay and then you come here you can take from your device and you can get your music added in your AutoCut. So that's that for AutoCut. All right, guys. So the next thing I want us to look at is right here. It's called Product Photos. So when you click on Product Photo, this is probably really good for products. And you click on select a, a photo like this, and then you click on Add. You're gonna have the background removed and then you have ai backgrounds down here that you can add to your photo to okay so let me say for example i take any one like this one I wait for it to load yeah so i'm gonna have my picture with a new background so this might not be the best but you know you can always play with it and if you have some good quality photos that you can use here you can try it this is a pretty cool tool as well yeah, like this one it blends very well this one blends very well and if you think that you like this you can just put it in you click on your little okay down here and you save it in your phone so i like the background okay i click on export and i'm going to have that saved to my device it's done already and i click on done another one is ai poster the next thing i want us to look at is ai poster i don't even think this one works so whenever i click on it this is what happens is just the same like the text to image issue so and the next thing is your another thing we have is just your camera you can always access your camera and the next thing we have is retouch so let me show you guys how to use this tool you can use it for video and photos but let's just do photo all right when you click on retouch and you add it you can select more than one photo as well you realize you go to your like your video editing interface so and this is what you're going to have so you can edit some things like the face the smoothness of the skin the skin tone brighten there's just a lot of tricks you can do here especially if you have the pro version of CapCut. you can do teeth whitening right here now you can reshape the face increase the chin length I don't know if you're seeing that effect it's, it's, it's happening on the photo chin length you can shorten it you can walk on it there are a lot of things you can do even the eyebrows just that most of the eyebrow features are pro that's that's a, that's a, that's a bummer and you also have things that you can do like the makeup or the internet and then you have some manual stuff that you can do here as well but most of these things are pro anyway and when you're done you can save it up but it's going to be a video because this is a video uh, editing interface so it's going to be a video and you also have this and now you see what happens is when you're done when you leave the project it's going to come here as a project and these are my video my video projects my video editing stuff so my video project so when you use ret uh, retouch you're you're going to make a video automatically yeah auto caption next is auto caption i talked about this in the video when i did the, the intro video to CapCut just about importing a video this also video editing not photo editing so i'm not going to open it here importing a video and you click on the auto caption button to generate captions for your video another thing i want us to look at is the teleprompter so teleprompter is quite good for people who do voiceover so when you open the teleprompter in CapCut, so this really doesn't have much to do with picture i just think it's a cool tool that i need to show so you can edit the text in your teleprompter and you can use it so it's very good for people that do like voiceovers and videos so you can edit the text you know change everything you can clear it all up here you see an option to cl to clear all so you can clear it all 
and then when you're done you just click on done and then you can decide the length of your you know your teleprompt whatever you're showing trying to read on all right so when you click on play you're going to read what your teleprompter is displaying and you record it you understand so you'll be recording what you're reading and you have an audio record of the text that's being displayed on your teleprompter so it's pretty cool all right guys so the next thing i want to look at is the background remover yeah this one is, is pretty easy you just it helps you to remove the background of an image so i'll select this image and it's going to process it you will select the person that's on the, the image the picture and then you can take off the background by clicking ok yeah and this is what you're going to have when you do that so you can actually do some editing now you can change the background with some solid color so this uh, is a pretty cool cool tool you can use in CapCut it's pretty cool and when, when you're done with that you can actually do some editing on on the picture now you can add text photo resize it and change it yeah all right the next one is uh, image enhancer all right image enhancement or something so these two i've used it for quite a while but i really can't tell the difference i'm gonna select a photo okay and in use the enhancer when you select any picture it's just going to automatically start enhancing it and that's it so it's just, it's just enhancing your image but i don't really like see the detail <laughs> that is being done here but that's just that's just it so that's pretty much all about that and then you can actually do some a couple of editing on it too well if you're okay with the enhancement you just click on export at the top right of your screen and save it in your phone well, that's all right guys so that's basically it for this video i've shown you guys how to use CapCut for photo editing i made a video on how to use CapCut for video editing and that's his actual job so if you're interested click this video coming up at the top right of your screen right now and go check it out so thanks guys i'll see you in the next video